All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So we're going to be doing another weekly top five. This week, the theme is smashing plays. Smashing. Things get smashed. So as we get into number five, we're going to be seeing some pretty good ones, man. I'm, I'm pretty excited for these. Uh, number one is pretty damn impressive. Number two is impressive. DJ Grade smashed from the bush, shoots the plane out of the sky. Good lead, good shot, good kill, my friend. Now on to number four. Smashing. Like, Patrick Slobodnik smashed. Eight, German 88. Hills, rocks be damned. He's going to nail the plane out of the sky. Smashing. You know what? This transition is pretty smashing, wouldn't you say? Number three. Kopi Rostov. Pastov. So, if you didn't see it in the upper left, he said that he lost tail controls. Now, keep in mind this is an arcade match, so the maneuvering while he's using his gear, flaps and stuff, it's, it's relatively impressive. You've got to remember that it's arcade mode. But in arcade mode, you have respawns. You can easily crash, die, and respawn, but not this guy. He fights to the end. And he gets a kill for it. Well done, sir. Well done. You smashed him. Now moving on to number two. We've got Janchik Darko. Now, we all know that TU-4s are the scourge of the sky. But what they were based off of was B-29s. Look at this formation. This is a tightly packed formation of three B-29s. Spitting out 50 calibers of freedom. And this guy is accurately hitting his shots from like three quarters to 0.8 kilometers away. So 0.75 to 0.8 kilometers away. He's firing at a pretty good distance. Now, would he be able to do this against a squadron of tu Force? I would love it if he could, and I would love it when he does to send it to me in the replays. If you're killing tu Force, please send them. So now he takes this opportune moment to dive down. He's already got two B-29s. His plane's a little bit messed up if you look in the lower left. There's some yellow sections. Cockpit is a bit reddish. Maybe the guy's bleeding out of his face. Maybe a 50 caliber of freedom smushed his face. But hits the elevator, goes straight up, and is looking for his third B-29 hit. You can hear the critical. He's landing those hits. That guy's going down, and he takes the time to pick a new target. This guy's pretty good at managing multiple targets at the same time while dodging the American 50 cals of freedom. And look at these shots. He's hitting at 0.7 kilometers away. Pretty damn good, especially considering what he's like dealing with. So the third kill goes down. You can see the parachutes. And this one, Mr. Smite 146 of the former B-29 bomber formation, you can tell he's going down and doesn't have a prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, that was number two because of a combined effort. Any one of those kills individually, not too impressive. But when you kill four B-29s, I'd say that's pretty damn good. Pretty smashing. Now we're moving on to number one. Now while the quality of this video is not that good, this guy goes up, heads up, with another F-8F. He loses the left tip of his wing. Things are not going very well. But you know what? He doesn't give up. He doesn't J out. He doesn't parachute. This is another case of someone just not giving up and being like, you know what, let's roll the dice. And by roll the dice, I'm going to put some skill into this. Because if you look under my right wing, I've got myself a rocket. He's got one rocket left. And he's got a target-rich cap zone. And look at this. Inverts and just donkey punches that tank in the face. Direct hit with a rocket. Smashed him. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Videos are going up on both channels today. I will be out of town um, in San Francisco Monday through Wednesday for a recording event. Um, if you'd like to see any pictures of what's going on, I'll be putting stuff up on Twitter and Instagram. Links in the video description below. Got some fun, carefree videos going up on the other channel if you haven't subscribed to that one. Um, hoping to get some streaming. I've said this for months and years, honestly, and managing two channels has been pretty tough. Um, not pretty tough, like, it's very inspiring and it's very fun and it's very rewarding, but it's very time-consuming. 
but I'm learning a lot and it's been a very good experience. Um, also, not very much sleep. Not as much sleep as I like to, but you know what? We're working on it. We're getting better. Challenge yourself every day, ladies and gentlemen. Challenge yourself every day. And just like those two guys in the top five today, if you're going down, see what you can bring down with you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, pull the trigger on the like button, share the video, friend, and I will see you in the next one.